I just I really enjoy the bench work. I enjoy interacting with the patients and doctors and the phlebotomist and I just really enjoy my day in the lab. My name is Jennifer Fairbanks and I'm a medical laboratory scientist. In an average day, you are accessioning lab specimens, you're running them on the analyzers. We have hematology, chemistry, urinalysis, coagulation, um, among many other departments. And so you're accessioning those for the proper specimens, you're um, inspecting the results as they come off, you're doing the daily maintenance on all of your analyzers and just kind of keeping the lab running and answering questions for doctors and patients. In your typical day, you're going to um, arrive at the lab, you're going to um, bring up the analyzers, do any kind of maintenance that's needed to be done in the mornings. We have quality control and calibrations that have to take place before we can do patient testing to ensure the accuracy of the patients. Throughout the day, you, as the specimens are drawn, within 30 minutes they need to be spun down or analyzed or frozen, refrigerated, whatever it needs for that kind of test. and it's. The same thing throughout the day is as samples come in, you're accessioning and pouring off or putting them on the analyzer or whatever needs to be done for the day. Towards the end of the day, you have additional QC that may need to be done, additional maintenance that needs to be done, and then end of day procedures so that the next day can start over again. I really enjoy the science and technology part of things, and so being able to apply that to healthcare um, is, is kind of the plus for me. I always knew I wanted to be in healthcare and you know this was kind of where I found my niche. I was really good with science and math and this allows me to apply that to the technology and help people at the same time. So there's two ways to become a medical laboratory scientist. Um, you have your MLT and your MT, so it's medical laboratory technician or an MT and that's a two-year degree versus a four-year degree. So two-year degree, you're going to do, you know, of course, your high school, graduate, and you're going to do an associate's program. So it'd be a two, usually two plus one or a two plus six months. So you've got your two years of coursework and then your six months to a year of uh, clinical work. Um, the four-year degree for medical technologist or med medical laboratory scientist, um, you're going to do a four-year program where you're doing about three years of general college coursework, a year of your program, and then a year of clinicals going into it. All the degrees require a national certification, and so you have your AMT or your ASCP. Either one will work in most states. Um, there are a few states that require additional things, like um, California requires a light fiber optics specialty in your physics course and things like that. So. When you're going into it, you need to look at what state you're going to be working in, which ones you potentially want. Florida, for instance, requires an additional license, so you take your national certification and then you pay and submit your coursework for your, your Florida license. To be good in this position, you would need to be um, good with attention to detail. Math and science, of course, is a help because the theory goes very heav heavily into the auditing of the results and making sure your analyzers are working. Being able to get things done on a deadline, um, you know, making sure your work is done and just being thorough with everything you're doing. The most rewarding part of my job is when you're dealing with a patient. I actually had one yesterday that it, it was a baby and I had been part of his chart since birth. I, I was the one that resulted his Billy Rubin coming from the hospital and you know swabs and various things through that and so I got to see him in person and you know help with you know continuing his health care and he was doing better and things like that so it's seeing the seeing the patients and seeing them benefit from the work that I do.